To be able to truly say, this is Iowa, you have to experience our state, all of it. So let's hit the road for journeys from central Iowa and beyond, focusing on four very different journeys. And we're starting with a life-changing trip that ended here in Des Moines for dozens of new Iowans like this guy, Uncle Sam, a world traveler who wasn't born here, but makes it his mission to log miles and change lives. If it's four o'clock on a weekday, Sam Gabriel is on the road. Yeah, you guys just hurry up, I'm almost there. Playing Uber driver all over the metro, packing his 15 passenger van with kids Good. who sometimes show up barefoot. Go we'll put your shoes on. For their trip to the same spot every day. Hi. Des Moines Tower Park, where that driver turns right, into guys. hurry up get your shoes on quick 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 let's go a Go drill through. sergeant one minute you're done surrounded by joy most iowans can't hey, understand Papa, you go with your job? <laughs> oh. because most iowans hey, nine, ten. haven't been in momini babong's cleats we were refugees in africa when she was eight momini landed in des moines carrying american dreams i was excited to leave um Congo, because I will come here and live a better life. But she was also loaded down with... <sighs> how, how do I say this? Challenges. You don't know nobody. You don't know the same language. But every other refugee on this team has lived that same experience. They are precious, but uh, if they are not taken out to create a safe environment for them, then they become gangsters. Which sounds harsh until that van driver turned soccer coach tells you. So every time I get a chance to come here with these kids, I just, it's somewhat emotional. And I see myself in them. Everyone here knows him as Uncle Sam. Growing up, you know, I always wanted to be a soccer player. And they know he was a refugee from Africa too. We had civil war for 15 years. So my family fled from Liberia to Guinea on a refugee camp. I still remember a guy in the brown jeans who was lay on the side of the road and was slowly killed. So when we finally got the chance to come to Iowa, I mean, we still, that's, that, this is it. This is it, man. We're going to be rich. You know, we're going to America. You know, everything is there. Sounds familiar, right? But just like these kids, the 38-year-old who hasn't lost his moves discovered his family was too busy trying to make money at low-paying jobs to watch him. I had to work to provide food for myself. I had to work to buy uh, clothes for myself. Don't rush it. And Sam struggled. So after he graduated from West right, Des Moines Valley good. and Bring college, got married and landed a job, he told his wife he wanted to quit. And she looked at me and she's like, okay. So I didn't work for a year. Starting this soccer team for refugee kids. One, two, three, dances. That everyone here knows. Make sure you get ready for that. Is just Uncle Sam's tool to get them back in those vans for another ride. Because the only way to earn a spot on Genesis Youth Foundation's team is to play by his rules. Can I gonna help you guys? Every night after practice, homework help is mandatory because being a teenager is tough enough. Jeremiah Doy's girls. First of all, they never saw a computer before. And now they have to do all their homework and assignment on computer. Kids old enough for eighth grade arrive with a third grade education. It's tough. Pack the computer. So Uncle Sam uses hand-me-down laptops from big businesses downtown to make sure his team learns. And then, after feeding their brain, he fills their belly because he knows what's coming next. High energy, right? Takes energy, too. But dance gets even more kids in the door, and he will do almost anything to make it all 4,890 add up to success. Because of the soccer, like these kids flip their Fs into A's and B's because they want to play. And because they don't want to disappoint Uncle Sam. All the kids here love him. Yeah, a lot. He's selfless. He like cares about people more than himself. All right, bye-bye. So he drives 78 miles a day, picking them up and dropping them off. He fundraises so Genesis Youth Foundation stays above water. And then he goes all out at practice. It's my passion. So these kids who haven't lost a regular season match in years can win at life, too. It takes investment.
to make that happen. Because he knows refugee kids can succeed in Iowa. Someone has to step up and make it happen. Someone like Get Uncle Sam. It is good for them, it is good for their parents, it's also good for Iowa.